To get students back into the building, we met with the College of Medicine and Health and the School of Medicine, the School of Nursing, the School of Therapies back as early as July. And we actually walked down the building and we identified what's what we call a COVID plan. How do you actually navigate through the building, entry systems, exit systems, two meter distancing, where we're to put sanitizing units, foot foot antiviral wipes. Uh, we actually sent our cleaning supervisor into the Mercy for a week's training on infection control and cleaning standards. So you see that as you walk around, there's enhanced cleaning, it's up to hospital standard in this building. We basically turned over every stone and done, done our best to make our building safe. So you're very welcome to the Clinic Skills Lab here in the School of Medicine. We're back teaching about three or four weeks. Uh, we teach a number of skills in here, including IV cannulation, uh, IV drug administration and phlebotomies. So before COVID, we would have had about 14, 15 students sitting in the front of the room. We would have spent a lot of time talking about the safety aspects of the skill and we would have done a demonstration. With COVID, we've had to reduce the numbers coming into this room. So the maximum number coming into this room is nine in total. We've moved all the demo and the safety talk online. This has definitely brought upsides in terms of uh, that the students are more visible. I can see what's going on in the room more easily. They get more individual attention. There's no doubt about that. And certainly it's been a very positive experience.